What is up guys, my name is Zoo from Jeva today and I'm going to be showing you how to configure your server and change like server attributes and uh, properties for your 5M server. So um, I wrote this guide, not really a guide, it's kind of just a little table that tells you what to do uh, in the server.cfg. Uh, so I'll put this link in the description if it helps you, but uh, I'll just be following this. So yeah, let's get started with this. Um, we're gonna need those two later. So let's open up our server.cfg. Yeah, sorry if I sound a little weird. I'm a little uh, sick there. So um, let's start off with. Uh, I'm opening this up in Visual Studio Code. You can download it if you want. You can open it up with Notepad. That's fine too. I just I, I can't handle Notepad right now. So uh, let's start off with. Actually, I'm gonna start off with port forwarding. Port forwarding is basically. Uh, making that like port available to the internet something like that and uh, you need it for other people to join uh, your server from you know around the web so it's different and it's really dynamic for everyone so you know if you're on a server you might not even need to do it uh, if you're on you know a home network it's different for everyone so just google how to do it for your router or your uh, ISP and you should be fine so I'm gonna start off with the first thing here um, SV underscore script hook allowed. We're in the server.cfg, by the way. Um, yeah, so server, the script uh, script hook is basically like client sided scripts. Uh, they basically just, uh, it, it, it's like having Lambda menu on or off. And if you're, you know, gonna have like a professional server, you probably wouldn't want it on because then people could use their own scripts that they, uh, that's client sided so I'm just gonna keep that on just because I don't really care and um, then uh, let's scroll down here and it says sets sets tags these are tags for their server so people can search tags and they'll find your server by identifying with this so let's, let's put the tags are separated by commas by the way as it says it right here it's pretty self-explanatory so I'm gonna say like um, Jeva and then I'll be like tutorial so these are two different things, two different tags here. So let's scroll down here, and uh, we're gonna see these two little things, little uh, sets banner details, sets banner connecting. It's basically it's it's a banner. I'll show you what it does when we're in certain game. So um, I'm gonna type it out here: sets banner detail, and then in quotes you put in the URL to your images. Uh, so I have my images, and they're on the internet. They have to be on the internet it says URL to image so um, I'm gonna put um, banner detail as this I guess D detail is like the server banner and I forgot the underscore here and then do sets banner underscore connecting and in quotes I have another image here that's on the internet so yeah that that's that and um, Let's change your server's uh, name, host name. So I'm just gonna call it uh, Jeva Tutorial. And um, I don't really know what Temconver does. Uh, if you want your server to be unlisted from the whole server list, so uh, you just wanna backspace that and keep it like there, uh, as it says right here. But I want people to see it, even though they can't, because I didn't port forward because I'm just doing a tutorial. It doesn't really matter because I'm not really doing much with that um, I think uh, endpoint privacy is where people can you can see other people's IPs from the backend API for the 5m uh, from, from like the 5m a web API for each server so if you make that false um, people you wouldn't be able to see their IPs um, or identifiers uh, one, or, one or the other in the uh, web API so it kind of just brings more security you probably want to have that false on uh, or whatever it is to disable it um, if you're a big server max clients is uh, it's it self-explanatory it's max people uh, it has to be between 1 and 32 so yeah and um, the license key uh, I just put it in a different file and here's a practice that a lot of people don't do often uh, I don't really see happen so they have their resources here so I'm gonna actually gonna create a new 
config file here and before we do that click view and then click on file name extensions makes your life easier click uh, right click new text document backspace I'm um, just gonna call it resources dot cfg and open that up and it's blank right now so let's just copy all of let's, let's copy it from here I'm gonna paste that here so you can just have it blank like that and then in here type in x exec um, resources dot cfg and that'll run it um, with so if we click server start we're using the same server as we did in the last video I'll put the link in the last video's description too so I'll click start server all those resources started and my key started too so um, also I forgot to show you um, what's it called the uh, the server icon so um, it's right here just uncomment it and you have to have a 96 by 96 PNG file so I actually have one uh, it's right here it's gonna copy that and then paste it in here uh, it's called 96.png so I can just type in 96.png that should make my server logo like that so I'm gonna start out my server see it's all working I'm gonna open up 5m alright so we're in 5m here and um, to connect to your server again just go to direct connect since it's, since I'm doing it from a local host, I can do um, I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm gonna do one two seven. It's really slow here. One two seven point zero point zero point one because that's a local host and this is Java tutorial. There's my server logo and um, can't really click on it, but you get it. Um, the server banner. I think it takes some time to actually uh, show up and like you know but it'll it'll show eventually I think it's when you port forward it I don't really know it does show and uh, yeah I mean that's kinda it for this tutorial it, it all worked out I know the server logo and all the resources so uh, you know I'm just gonna F8 quit here and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did uh, like it subscribe we're gonna make uh, scripting tutorials too for 5m um, so just uh, be ready for this, uh, and uh, yeah, see ya.